It is 4.40 in the morning right now. My water just broke. This is happening. I am literally having a baby today. <sighs> I am so stressed because I have been trying to clean my room for seriously two weeks and I'll spend hours on it for multiple days and then it's still never clean. And someone told me that that's probably why I haven't gone into labor is because I'm like too stressed, I can't relax. So I actually hired a babysitter today. I'm planning on getting this room clean, packing my hospital bag, setting up the car seat in our car. And I'm really hoping that that relaxes me enough so that I can have this baby because <laughs> I'm ready. And then I'm also planning on getting a pedicure because yeah, girl needs it. But also I've heard that can induce labor as well. First, I'm gonna start off by boxing up all of my winter clothes. Our closet is exploding from like every direction. I've made pretty good progress. The only things I have to put away are things that are going into my hospital bag. And then I just have like some garbage and I'm gonna have Chris help me take the heavy boxes out. Our washer and dryer have been broken for like the past two weeks. It has been such a nightmare. That is the biggest reason I haven't been able to pack my hospital bag yet because I have all of these new baby clothes and nursing friendly things I'm gonna wear in the hospital, but I couldn't dry them because our dryer is broken. So I was doing a load the other day and I started drying it and all of a sudden I walked into our laundry room and there's just a puddle of water on the floor. So we pulled it out and Chris got like the lint out of the back. It's broken, we have to get a new one. I was so mad because I was like, I have been wanting to pack this hospital bag for weeks, but I literally can't because I can't get these clothes dry. So I literally hung everything out to dry and now I'm just getting away to folding everything. <coughs> It's such a game changer getting a babysitter to do this. We actually have a part-time nanny that comes during a couple mornings in the week just because Chris and I both work. And I used to try and just get all of my work done while watching the kids, but I swear I was so hard to be just present with my kids. And so since we've gotten a babysitter, it has been such a game changer. But our nanny is actually out of town this week. And so I got just like a couple babysitters in our neighborhood to come over who are out of school for the summer. And our kids love them. Anyway, they've been having so much fun and I actually feel like I've gotten so much done. <laughs> Once I get this all folded though, Chris and I are gonna go on a walk. Chris and I just got back, so I'm gonna get ready for the day, do my makeup. It's 80 degrees today, it's so beautiful. I honestly really just wanna go and like lay out and swim. That sounds so amazing, but I do just have so much I need to get done. Am I dumb? Dang it, I wanted to use my new, my new concealer. <laughs> hey DoorDash Chick-fil-A because I'm so hungry and I only have our babysitter for one more hour so I figured I would have it delivered so I don't have to wait in line at the drive-thru. I literally just had a contraction two minutes ago and I'm having another one right now. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it has been a really just crazy mental game. Thinking I've been going into labor multiple times lately, I almost feel like my body is like just so rude <laughs> because it keeps faking me out. I keep thinking I'm going into labor and then I don't. So I've just tried to stop getting my hopes up. I'm 38 weeks, so no matter what, I only have a couple weeks left. Also, it is so funny because I have had the biggest food aversion to fries my whole pregnancy. So normally I get fries when I get Chick-fil-A, but I've had the biggest craving for mac and cheese lately. Oh my gosh, and Chick-fil-A's mac and cheese is so good. So I have my salad, my mac and cheese, Diet Dr. Pepper, and a cookie. <laughs> Calories don't matter. <laughs> So good. So it's been a couple days. It's so hard for me to vlog all in one day because I really only have like an hour of energy a day. I've been wanting to pack my hospital bag but I needed to Amazon a couple more things just for like once the baby's here. So I'm about to go do that. I have a violent craving for Oreos right now. Just had four Oreos, that did it for me. <laughs> I always need a breather after going up the stairs. <laughs> okay, I'm so excited. Finally getting around to packing my hospital bag. This is one of the few baby items I've bought for this pregnancy. Now that this is my third, I honestly haven't needed to buy much because I already have a crib and a car seat. But I love to always buy myself a new diaper bag as a fun little push present for myself. So fun. Azaria is my favorite diaper bag brand. 
Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I've used Desaria for like the past six years for every single one of my babies. This is vegan leather. They also have genuine leather and those bags are so, so beautiful. And those will last you like 20 years. Like it's genuine leather, so high quality. I've been on such a blue kick though. So I've really been eyeing this one. This is the La Mer Petite. I really love their original La Mer. I feel like after having multiple kids though, I'm just more minimal than I used to be. I also got a changing mat. I also got a wipes case because I just loved the blue. I don't need everything in my diaper bag to be cute, but I just needed these things. <laughs> so for the baby bag, I'm really not bringing much because the hospital gives you like everything. So I'm not bringing any diapers or wipes, formula, anything like that. But I have the changing pad, baby blanket, gender neutral outfit. I have a pink and a blue outfit if it's a girl or a boy. I have binkies. I have a couple bows if it's a girl. And that is it. Baby bag is done. Now for my bag, I'm just gonna bring postpartum essentials. First, I have two nursing bras. I have two belly bandits. I use these postpartum with Chloe and I just felt like it was really supportive to wear after delivering. Two 10 foot chargers for both me and Chris. I have the Mom Frida Perry bottle for TMI, but for spraying because the hospital ones suck. <laughs> I have a phone case with an octo body on it if I want to film it all in the hospital. I have nipple silverettes. I've never used these, but I've heard they're like a game changer for breastfeeding if you do have pain. I have a birthing comb for trying to go natural. It's like a pain relief technique. Flip flops for showering. I have adult diapers and the boxer shorts because I'm not a fan of like the hospital underwear they give you. I always wear the hospital gown that they give you in the hospital, but I do have a pair of comfy pajamas as my go Going home outfit and then I also just have some nipple pads for when my milk comes in because I always need these for like two weeks other than that I have my makeup and toiletries and then my camera stuff for pictures and filming that is literally it though I'm so excited to have these packed this has been like the biggest thing on my to-do list for the past like four weeks now I am officially ready to go into labor but I do still need to install the car seat in our car so I'm gonna do that right now Hey guys, okay, this week has been like so hectic just getting ready for the baby. I had my last hair appointment today and I'm so grateful for my hairstylist because she totally squeezed me in. She just had her baby and she's booked out weeks in advance and me of course like procrastinating making an appointment. So I just texted her and I was like, if you have any cancellations or anything, let me know. And she is literally the best. She like had her mother-in-law watch her baby so she could do my hair. I love her so much. She's also like one of my best friends. Our family just got back from going on a walk and I have been doing curb walking to try and get this baby out. It didn't work. <laughs> But we just got our bassinet in the mail. Guys, I don't even know if this is worth it, but we bought the snoo. It is outrageously expensive, and I don't know if it's worth it yet. Anyway, we're gonna see if it works, but I have the worst sleepers. Sawyer started out sleeping great as a newborn, but once the four-month regression hit, both of my kids have just been horrible sleepers. So with this third baby, we were like, okay, hey, let's try out the snoo just because we've heard great things. So anyway, I'm gonna build that because what if I go into labor tonight? Like, literally, we'll be home two days from now, and we don't have have any bassinet situation set up. And then I also bought like a little storage caddy that we could keep next to our bassinet. I just got from Amazon and so I'm also gonna build that tonight and just stock it full of diapers, wipes, basically everything you'd need on hand with a newborn. So I'm gonna start that right now. Also my heartburn is so horrendously bad after literally eating dessert. We had bread pudding. <laughs> I'm just so ready for this baby to get out and for me to not have acid reflux or heartburn anymore. gotten this <laughs> I spent like 20 minutes on this. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the rest of this looks really easy. To be honest, I'm really not a directions kind of gal, <laughs> but I'm at my wits end with this thing, dealing with the boxes. Nope, that's not right. Okay, it goes this way. <laughs> oh, no, there's no way. I am literally dumb because there's a red dot right in the middle. That's where it's supposed to point. I think that's literally it. <laughs> Opening the box took a hundred times longer than actually building the snow. <laughs> I literally feel like I do when I go to the hospital to give birth and I see the little bed there and I'm like, oh, our baby's gonna be in here. It's so amazing. I really hope this is worth the money. <laughs> 
I'm gonna go into the app and try to set this up. I never even explained, but if you don't know what the snoo is, it's like a smart bassinet. So if your baby is fussy, it uses technology to basically like gently rock your baby back to sleep and it also plays white noise. And then if your baby doesn't calm down, like the app will notify you and say like, come get your baby. Okay, I just got it all set up and this is like their baseline. This is so cool. So it's playing white noise and just super lightly rocking it. I'm just realizing I probably should have set it up over there next to my bed. <laughs> Hopefully I don't have to like pair it to my phone again. <laughs> I'm literally crying right now. I'm scrolling reels and I'm laughing so hard I think my, I might pee my pants. Look at this. Humans can only hold their breath for 10 minutes, then how was Louis Armstrong able to become the first man on the moon? I am in space on the moon. Help. <laughs> So same place, different outfit. It is the next day. After I built this last night, I was just went to bed. <laughs> last thing on my to-do list is to build this cart and to put away the laundry. I will be 39 weeks tomorrow, and that's crazy because I was induced with Chloe and Sawyer at 39 weeks, so I have never been pregnant past 39 weeks. I have a membrane sweep scheduled for tomorrow. I'm really just hoping to go into labor on my own. That's like my biggest goal for this birth. I've mentioned that I'm going to try to go unmedicated, and that's still my goal, but if it doesn't happen, I'm not putting a ton of pressure on myself. Honestly, my last two births were amazing. I was induced with the epidural. I know that inductions can be controversial, but I loved my birth so much. So honestly, my biggest goal for this birth is just to go into labor on my own. I'm gonna try and go unmedicated. If I need the epidural though, I'm not gonna be disappointed or feel like a failure or anything. No matter how you choose to birth, like I think every birth is so beautiful. As long as you are okay and your baby's okay, nothing else matters. I did just post a story on my Instagram about this though. I feel so lucky that I've never dealt with like postpartum depression for long term, but I get severe baby blues for the first couple weeks. Basically, I am so, so emotional from like the hormone drop. I can't really see happiness in anything. Like I remember being in the hospital with Sawyer. It hit me so quick last time. And I remember just feeling so devastated thinking about my kids growing growing up so fast that I truly could not stop crying for a week straight and it would get so bad I would have panic attacks. I've told Chris since then like you can't leave me for the first like week after giving birth because I'm so in the depth of baby blues that I just need you here with me. If anyone has any advice for dealing with baby blues please let me know because I truly am so nervous about it. Anyway, I feel very sticky and gross. I want to shower and go to bed. I also have this strange feeling that I might go this weekend. I don't know what it is, but I'm feeling like this urge, like, hey, I have to put away this laundry because I might give birth very soon. <laughs> Now I'm just gonna stock it. First, obviously stocking it with diapers and wipes. I love water wipes. I just feel like these are the safest for a newborn because there's just no ingredients other than water. I have a couple burp cloths, extra pacifier, diaper cream, and then I have like the Mommy's Bliss, gripe water, vitamin D drops, gas relief, and saline drops. Chloe had colic, so gripe water actually helped a ton. And with Sawyer, he had really bad, he just like struggled with gas a lot. So gripe water didn't work for him, but the gas drops did. And then the bottom drawer, I'm gonna do postpartum stuff for myself. I'm also trying out the Mom Frida boy shorts, a bunch of nursing pads, and then I don't have these yet, but I will get them from the hospital, but like the tucks and then the ice packs. I love those ice packs so much. I'm so excited to get them from the hospital. So anyway, I'm just gonna put everything else in here, but I feel like I still have a lot of empty space on here, but I'm sure I'll add more things. I'll also probably move these down here and put newborn diapers up here. And I'm gonna put this by the snow. Ignore my closet because we didn't invest in a closet system and <laughs> everything is basically DIY and it's so junky. It like honestly is my least favorite place in this whole house. Oh, it's a contraction. The contractions I've been getting are so heavy on my bladder. It feels like my bladder is just being crushed. They've also just been so painful. 
<laughs> These three shelves are just like swinging. Okay, I just put all of the laundry away. I'm gonna try and sneak into my kids' rooms. Oh my gosh, I literally cannot even believe my belly. <gasps> I feel like I'm not feeling very good. My tummy is feeling a little upset. We had buffalo wild wings tonight. People have been telling me to eat spicy food to try and induce labor. I'm gonna put the rest of the laundry away, take a shower, go to bed. But thank you so much for watching. Hopefully in my next video, I'm having the baby. I'm gonna try and vlog my labor and birth as much as possible. Thank you guys for being invested in this birth with me. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. It is 4.40 in the morning right now. My water just broke. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I think I'm supposed to call the hospital. I'm gonna call the hospital. <laughs>